In physics, circular motion is a movement of an object along the circumference of a circle or rotation along a circular path. It can be uniform, with constant angular rate of rotation and constant speed, or non-uniform with a changing rate of rotation. The rotation around a fixed axis of a three-dimensional body involves circular motion of its parts. The equations of motion describe the movement of the center of mass of a body. Examples of circular motion include, an artificial satellite orbiting the Earth at a constant height, a ceiling fan's blades rotating around a hub, a stone which is tied to a rope and is being swung in circles, a car turning through a curve in a race track, an electron moving perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field, and a gear turning inside a mechanism. Since the object's velocity vector is constantly changing direction, the moving object is undergoing acceleration by a centripetal force in the direction of the center of rotation. Without this acceleration, the object would move in a straight line, according to Newton's laws of motion. Topic: <laughs> Uniform circular motion. In physics, uniform circular motion describes the motion of a body traversing a circular path at constant speed. Since the body describes circular motion, its distance from the axis of rotation remains constant at all times. Though the body's speed is constant, its velocity is not constant. Velocity, a vector quantity, depends on both the body's speed and its direction of travel. This changing velocity indicates the presence of an acceleration. This centripetal acceleration is of constant magnitude and directed at all times towards the axis of rotation. This acceleration is, in turn, produced by a centripetal force which is also constant in magnitude and directed towards the axis of rotation. In the case of rotation around a fixed axis of a rigid body that is not negligibly small compared to the radius of the path, each particle of the body describes a uniform circular motion with the same angular velocity, but with velocity and acceleration varying with the position with respect to the axis. Formulas For motion in a circle of radius r, the circumference of the circle is c equals 2 pi r. If the period for one rotation is t, the angular rate of rotation, also known as angular velocity, omega is omega equals 2 pi t equals 2 pi F equals D theta D T display style Omega equals frac 2 pi T equals 2 pi F equals frac D theta DT and the units are radians second the speed of the object traveling the circle is V equals 2 pi R T equals omega r display style v equals frac 2 pi r t equals omega r the angle theta swept out in a time t is theta equals 2 pi t t equals omega t Display style theta equals two pi frac t t equals omega t. The angular acceleration alpha of the particle is alpha equals d omega d t. Display style alpha equals frac d omega d t. In the case of uniform circular motion, alpha will be zero. The acceleration due to change in the direction is a equals v two r equals omega two r display style a equals frac v caret two r equals omega caret two r. The centripetal and centrifugal force can also be found out using acceleration f c equals p equals m equals 0 m a equals m v 2 r 
display style f underscore c equals dot p over set dot m equals zero equals ma equals frac m v caret two r. The vector relationships are shown in Figure One. The axis of rotation is shown as a vector omega perpendicular to the plane of the orbit and with a magnitude omega equals d theta dt. The direction of omega is chosen using the right-hand rule. With this convention for depicting rotation, the velocity is given by a vector cross product as v equals omega times r. Display style math bf v equals bold symbol omega times math bf r, which is a vector perpendicular to both omega and r t, tangential to the orbit, and of magnitude omega r. Likewise, the acceleration is given by a equals omega times v equals omega times omega times R display style math bf a equals bold symbol omega times math bf v equals bold symbol omega times left bold symbol omega times math bf r right, which is a vector perpendicular to both omega and v t of magnitude omega v equals omega two r and directed exactly opposite to r t. In the simplest case, the speed, mass, and radius are constant. Consider a body of 1 kg, moving in a circle of radius 1 m, with an angular velocity of 1 radian per second. The speed is 1 m per second. The inward acceleration is 1 m per square second, v2, r. It is subject to a centripetal force of 1 kg m per square second, which is 1 newton. The momentum of the body is 1 kg m s minus 1. The moment of inertia is 1 kg m2. The angular momentum is 1 kg m 2 s minus 1. The kinetic energy is 1 half joule. The circumference of the orbit is 2 pi approximately 6 meters. The period of the motion is 2 pi seconds per turn. The frequency is 2 pi minus 1 hertz. In polar coordinates During circular motion the body moves on a curve that can be described in polar coordinate system as a fixed distance r from the center of the orbit taken as origin, oriented at an angle theta t from some reference direction. See figure 4. The displacement vector r is the radial vector from the origin to the particle location r t equals r u caret r t display style vec r t equals r hat u underscore r t where u caret r t display style hat u underscore r t is the unit vector parallel to the radius vector at time t and pointing away from the origin. It is convenient to introduce the unit vector orthogonal to u caret r t display style hat u underscore r t as well, namely u caret theta t display style hat u underscore theta t. It is customary to orient u caret theta T display style hat u underscore theta t to point in the direction of travel along the orbit. The velocity is the time derivative of the displacement. V t equals d d t r t equals d r d t U carrot R T plus R D U carrot R D T 
Display style VEC V T equals FRAC D D T VEC R T equals FRAC Doctor D T hat U underscore R T plus R FRAC D hat U underscore R D T because the radius of the circle is constant, the radial component of the velocity is zero. The unit vector u caret r t display style hat u underscore r t has a time invariant magnitude of unity. So as time varies, its tip always lies on a circle of unit radius with an angle theta the same as the angle of r t. Display style vec r t. If the particle displacement rotates through an angle d theta in time dt, so does u caret r t. Display style hat u underscore r t. Describing an arc on the unit circle of magnitude d theta. See the unit circle at the left of Figure 4. Hence d u caret R D T equals D theta D T U carrot theta T Display style FRAC D hat U underscore R D T equals FRAC D theta D T hat U underscore theta T where the direction of the change must be perpendicular to U carrot R T display style hat U underscore R T or in other words along U carrot theta T display style hat U underscore theta T because any change D U carrot R T Display style d hat u underscore r t in the direction of u caret r t display style hat u underscore r t would change the size of u caret r t display style hat u underscore r t the sign is positive because an increase in d theta implies the object and u caret r t display style hat u underscore r t have moved in the direction of u caret theta t display style hat u underscore theta t. Hence, the velocity becomes v. T equals D D T R T equals R D U carrot R D T equals R D theta D T U Carrot theta T equals R Omega U carrot theta T Display style VEC V T equals FRAC D D T VEC R T equals R FRAC D hat U underscore R D T equals R FRAC D theta D T hat U underscore theta T equals R omega hat U underscore theta T. The acceleration of the body can also be broken into radial and tangential components. The acceleration is the time derivative of the velocity. T equals D D T V T equals D D T R Omega U carrot theta T equals R D Omega D T 
U caret theta t plus omega d u caret theta d t display style begin aligned vec a t and equals frac d d t vec v t equals frac d d t left r omega hat u underscore theta t right and equals r left frac d omega d t hat u underscore theta t plus omega frac d hat u underscore theta d t right End aligned the time derivative of u caret theta t display style hat u underscore theta t is found the same way as for u caret r t display style hat u underscore r t. Again, u caret theta t display style hat u underscore theta t is a unit vector and its tip traces a unit circle with an angle that is pi two plus theta. Hence, an increase in angle d theta by r t display style vec r t implies u caret theta t display style hat u underscore theta t traces an arc of magnitude d theta and as u caret theta t Display style hat u underscore theta t is orthogonal to u caret r t. Display style hat u underscore r t. We have d u caret theta d t equals minus d theta d t u caret r t equals minus omega u caret r t Display style frac d hat u underscore theta d t equals frac d theta d t hat u underscore r t equals omega hat u underscore r t, where a negative sign is necessary to keep u caret theta t. Display style hat u underscore theta t orthogonal to u caret r t display style hat u underscore r t otherwise the angle between u caret theta t display style hat u underscore theta t and u caret r t display style hat u underscore r t would decrease with increase in d theta. See the unit circle at the left of Figure 4. Consequently, the acceleration is a t equals r d omega d t u caret theta t plus omega d u caret theta d t equals r d omega d t u caret theta t minus omega 2 r u caret r t display style begin aligned vec a t and equals r left frac d omega d t hat u underscore theta t plus omega frac d hat u underscore theta d t right and equals r frac d omega d t hat u underscore theta t omega caret 2 r hat u underscore r t end aligned the centripetal acceleration is the radial component which is directed radially inward a r t equals minus omega 2 r u caret r t Display style vec o underscore r t equals omega caret two r hat u underscore r t, while the tangential component changes the magnitude of the velocity. A theta 
T equals R D Omega D T U carrot theta T equals D R Omega D T U carrot theta T equals D V T D T U carrot theta T Display style VEC O underscore theta T equals R F R A C D Omega D T hat U underscore theta T equals F R A C Doctor Omega D T hat U underscore theta T equals F R A C D left VEC V T right D T hat U underscore theta T Topic Using complex numbers Circular motion can be described using complex numbers. Let the x-axis be the real axis and the y display style y axis be the imaginary axis. The position of the body can then be given as z display style z a complex vector z equals x plus i y equals r cos theta t plus i sin theta t equals r e i theta t Display style z equals x plus i y equals r cos theta t plus i sin theta t equals re caret i theta t where i is the imaginary unit and theta t display style theta t is the argument of the complex number as a function of time t since the radius is constant r equals r equals 0 display style dot r equals d d o t r equals 0 where a dot indicates differentiation in respect of time. With this notation the velocity becomes v equals z equals d r e i theta t d t equals r d e i theta t d t equals r e i theta t d i theta t d t equals i r theta t e I theta T equals I Omega R E I theta T equals I Omega Z Display style v equals dot z equals frac d left re caret i theta t right d t equals r frac d left e caret i theta t right d t equals re caret i theta t frac d i theta t d t equals i r dot theta t e caret i theta t equals i omega re caret i theta t equals i omega z, and the acceleration becomes equals v equals i omega z plus i omega z equals i omega minus omega 2 z 
equals I omega minus omega two R E I theta T equals minus omega two R E I theta T plus omega E I pi two R E I theta T Display style begin aligned a and equals dot v equals i dot omega z plus i omega dot z equals left i dot omega omega caret two right z and equals left i dot omega omega caret two right re caret i theta t and equals omega caret two re caret i theta t plus dot omega e caret i frac pi two re caret i theta t end aligned. The first term is opposite in direction to the displacement vector and the the second is perpendicular to it, just like the earlier results shown before. Topic: <inaudible> Velocity. Figure one illustrates velocity and acceleration vectors for uniform motion at four different points in the orbit. Because the velocity v is tangent to the circular path, no two velocities point in the same direction. Although the object has a constant speed, its direction is always changing. This change in velocity is caused by an acceleration a, whose magnitude is like that of the velocity held constant, but whose direction also is always changing. The acceleration points radially inwards centripetally and is perpendicular to the velocity. This acceleration is known as centripetal acceleration. For a path of radius r, when an angle theta is swept out, the distance traveled on the periphery of the orbit is s equals r theta. Therefore, the speed of travel around the orbit is v equals r d theta d t equals r omega. Display style v equals r frac d theta d t equals r omega, where the angular rate of rotation is omega. By rearrangement, omega equals v r. Thus, v is a constant, and the velocity vector v also rotates with constant magnitude v at the same angular rate omega. Equals. Topic: Relativistic circular motion. Equals. In this case, the three acceleration vector is perpendicular to the three velocity vector. U. A. Equals. Zero. Display style vec u c d o t vec a equals zero. And the square of proper acceleration, expressed as a scalar invariant, the same in all reference frames. Alpha. Two. Equals. Gamma. 4 a 2 plus gamma 6 u a 2 display style alpha caret 2 equals gamma caret 4 a caret 2 plus gamma caret 6 vec u c d o t vec a caret 2 becomes the expression for circular motion alpha 2 equals Gamma four a two display style alpha caret two equals gamma caret four a caret two. Or taking the positive square root and using the three acceleration, we arrive at the proper acceleration for circular motion. Alpha equals gamma two v two r Display style alpha equals gamma caret two frac v caret two r. Topic acceleration. The left-hand circle in Figure two is the orbit showing the velocity vectors at two adjacent times. On the right, these two velocities are moved so their tails coincide. Because speed is constant, the velocity vectors on the right sweep out a circle as time advances. For a swept angle d theta equals omega d t, the change in v is a vector at right angles to v and of magnitude v d theta, which in turn means that the magnitude of the acceleration is given by a equals v d theta d t equals v omega equals v 2 r 
Display style equals v frac d theta dt equals v omega equals frac v caret two r. Topic non-uniform. In non-uniform circular motion, an object is moving in a circular path with a varying speed. Since the speed is changing, there is tangential acceleration in addition to normal acceleration. In non-uniform circular motion the net acceleration a is along direction of delta v which is directed inside circle but does not pass through its center see figure. The net acceleration may be resolved into two components, tangential acceleration and normal acceleration also known as the centripetal or radial acceleration. Unlike tangential acceleration, centripetal acceleration is present in both uniform and non-uniform circular motion. In non-uniform circular motion, normal force does not always point in the opposite direction of weight. Here is an example with an object traveling in a straight path then loops a loop back into a straight path again. This diagram shows the normal force pointing in other directions rather than opposite to the weight force. The normal force is actually the sum of the radial and tangential forces. The component of weight force is responsible for the tangential force here we have neglected frictional force. The radial force, centripetal force is due the change in direction of velocity as discussed earlier. In non-uniform circular motion, normal force and weight may point in the same direction. Both forces can point down, yet the object will remain in a circular path without falling straight down. First let's see why normal force can point down in the first place. In the first diagram, let's say the object is a person sitting inside a plane, the two forces point down only when it reaches the top of the circle. The reason for this is that the normal force is the sum of the tangential force and centripetal force. The tangential force is zero at the top as no work is performed when the motion is perpendicular to the direction of force applied. Here weight force is perpendicular to the direction of motion of the object at the top of the circle and centripetal force points down, thus normal force will point down as well. From a logical standpoint, a person who is traveling in the plane will be upside down at the top of the circle. At that moment, the person's seat is actually pushing down on the person, which is the normal force. The reason why the object does not fall down when subjected to only downward forces is a simple one. Think about what keeps an object up after it is thrown. Once an object is thrown into the air, there is only the downward force of Earth's gravity that acts on the object. That does not mean that once an object is thrown in the air, it will fall instantly. What keeps that object up in the air is its velocity. The first of Newton's laws of motion states that an object's inertia keeps it in motion, and since the object in the air has a velocity, it will tend to keep moving in that direction. A varying angular speed for an object moving in a circular path can also be achieved if the rotating body does not have an homogeneous mass distribution. For inhomogeneous objects, it is necessary to approach the problem as in. Topic. Applications Solving applications dealing with non-uniform circular motion involves force analysis. With uniform circular motion, the only force acting upon an object traveling in a circle is the centripetal force. In non-uniform circular motion, there are additional forces acting on the object due to a non-zero tangential acceleration. Although there are additional forces acting upon the object, the sum of all the forces acting on the object will have to equal to the centripetal force. Fnet equals ma Fnet equals mar Fnet equals mv2 r Fnet equals fc display style begin aligned f underscore net and equals ma f underscore net and equals ma underscore r f underscore net and equals frac mv caret 2 r f underscore net and equals f underscore c end aligned radial acceleration is used when calculating the total force. Tangential acceleration is not used in calculating total force because it is not responsible for keeping the object in a circular path. The only acceleration responsible for keeping an object moving in a circle is the radial acceleration. Since the sum of all forces is the centripetal force, drawing centripetal force into a free body diagram is not necessary and usually not recommended. Using F N E T equals F C 
Display style f underscore net equals f underscore c. We can draw free body diagrams to list all the forces acting on an object, then set it equal to f c. Display style f underscore c. Afterwards, we can solve for whatever is unknown. This can be mass, velocity, radius of curvature, coefficient of friction, normal force, etc. For example, the visual above showing an object at the top of a semicircle would be expressed as F C equals N plus M G. Display style F underscore C equals N plus M G. In uniform circular motion, total acceleration of an object in a circular path is equal to the radial acceleration. Due to the presence of tangential acceleration in non-uniform circular motion, that does not hold true anymore. To find the total acceleration of an object in non-uniform circular, find the vector sum of the tangential acceleration and the radial acceleration a r 2 plus a t 2 equals a display style sqrt a underscore r caret 2 plus a underscore t caret 2 equals a radial acceleration is still equal to v 2 r display style v caret 2 r tangential acceleration is simply the derivative of the velocity at any given point a t equals d v d t display style a underscore t equals d v d t this root sum of squares of separate radial and tangential accelerations is only correct for circular motion for general motion within a plane with polar coordinates r theta display style r theta the coriolis term a c equals 2 d r d t d theta d t display style underscore c equals 2 dr dt d theta dt should be added to a t display style underscore t whereas radial acceleration then becomes a r equals minus v 2 r plus d 2 r d t 2 Display style a underscore r equals v caret two r plus d caret two r dt caret two. Topic. See also. Angular momentum. Equations of motion for circular motion. Example: circular motion. Fictitious force. Geostationary orbit. Geosynchronous orbit Pendulum mathematics, Reactive centrifugal force Reciprocating motion Simple harmonic motion Hashtag uniform circular motion Sling weapon.